Welcome to Quantum, a channel dedicated to theoretical physics with all its rigorous mathematical underpinnings and profound philosophical implications. In this presentation, I introduce my two-volume book on quantum field theory, published in its second edition by the Institute of Physics. This work presents my own perspective on the nature of QFT. In essence, quantum field theory is the geometry of symmetry, a framework built upon the deep symmetry principles that govern the physical world. At the core is the local gauge principle, which gives rise to the standard model of particle physics. Modern QFT, however, is much more than this. In this book, I present it as the synthesis of four fundamental symmetry principles. The local gauge principle, which defines the standard model. The supersymmetric gauge principle, which extends it to the minimally supersymmetric standard model and more broadly to supersymmetric quantum field theories. The non-commutative gauge principle, which is paradoxical in nature, it is one of the few frameworks consistent with exact supersymmetry, which is notoriously rigid, and yet it also permits the spontaneous breaking of supersymmetry, which is equally difficult to achieve. And finally, the gauge gravity correspondence principle, which brings gravity into the fold of QFT, primarily through the mechanism of quantum entanglement, though other mechanisms are also at play. This is the vision of modern quantum field theory that guides the structure of this book, and it is the journey I invite you to explore. The luminous matter in the universe is constituted of elementary fermion particles of spin one-half, namely leptons and quarks. These particles interact via elementary boson particles of spin one, the gauge vector bosons, which mediate the three fundamental interactions of nature, the electromagnetic interaction, the strong nuclear force, and the weak nuclear interaction. The fourth fundamental force of nature, gravity, is different in kind. It is not mediated by a vector boson, but by a tensor particle of spin two, the hypothetical graviton. At the fundamental level, all of these particles are massless, and all these forces respect a deep and unifying symmetry known as the gauge principle. But this symmetry is not absolute. It is spontaneously broken via the Higgs particle, the only known elementary particle of spin zero in nature. This breaking explains how elementary particles acquire their measured masses and how the forces gain their observed strengths. Quantum field theory, or QFT, is the relativistic quantum framework that describes precisely this luminous matter and its interactions, and more. It is widely believed that QFT should also describe dark matter and perhaps even dark energy, understood in terms of vacuum energy. Quantum field theory is perturbatively renormalizable, meaning its infinities can be tamed through systematic approximation schemes. Yet, QFT also admits non-perturbative formulations, either directly through lattice field theory the renormalization group equation and conformal field theory, or indirectly via exact solutions, especially in two dimensions and increasingly in four, through the structure of supersymmetric gauge theory. Modern quantum field theory has expanded its domain to encompass gravity itself, most notably through the ADS-CFT correspondence, a central pillar of the gauge-gravity holographic duality. Furthermore, Non-commutative field theory presents a radical extension of QFT. In this formulation, space-time coordinates do not commute, introducing a fundamentally new geometrical and physical structure. Remarkably, this framework not only preserves supersymmetry, but it is also the only known setting in which supersymmetry can break spontaneously, offering new possibilities in both high-energy physics and quantum gravity. Thus, modern quantum field theory, which governs all known elementary particles and their interactions, including gravity, can be understood through four major theoretical axes. First, the standard model of elementary particles. Second, supersymmetric gauge theory in four dimensions. Third, the ADS-CFT correspondence. Fourth, non-commutative field theory, or NCFT. First, the standard model of elementary particles. This is a unified gauge theory of the electromagnetic, weak, and strong interactions. Historically developed by Weinberg, Salam, 
Glasshow, and many others, it is the most experimentally successful quantum field theory to date, perhaps the most successful theory ever devised. The standard model is formulated in terms of only 19 parameters, the gauge couplings, the Higgs vacuum expectation value, CKM matrix angles, and the theta angle responsible for CP violation. Though it is mostly perturbative, it relies fundamentally on spontaneous symmetry breaking and the renormalization group equation as a meta-theoretical framework. The model itself consists of two key components, the electroweak theory, which unifies QED with the weak interaction, and quantum chromodynamics, or QCD, which describes the strong force. QCD is unique in that it admits a non-perturbative definition via lattice gauge theory, arguably the most advanced computational discipline in theoretical physics today. Second, supersymmetric gauge theory in four dimensions. This axis provides a non-perturbative formulation of gauge theory, meaning one that does not require a small coupling expansion. In many cases, these theories are exactly solvable, much like the harmonic oscillator in quantum mechanics. Supersymmetry, holomorphy, and related tools, especially in the witten seiberg nekrasov framework, offer deep insights into strongly coupled systems such as QCD. Supersymmetric gauge theory also refines our understanding of gauge symmetry breaking and renormalization. Third, the ADS-CFT correspondence. Unlike the other three forces, gravity is mediated by a spin-2 tensor field. The ADS-CFT duality allows gravity and even black holes to be studied within the framework of unitary quantum field theory. Though born in string theory, ADS-CFT is fundamentally a field-theoretic idea. It relates a five-dimensional gravitational theory in anti-de Sitter space to a four-dimensional conformal field theory living on its boundary. This holographic principle has profound implications, not only for quantum gravity, but for condensed matter physics, thermodynamics, and the nature of space-time itself. Fourth, non-commutative field theory, or NCFT. Here, the structure of space-time is fundamentally reimagined. Instead of coordinates forming a smooth continuum, they obey non-commutative relations, a quantum deformation of classical geometry. NCFT plays a dual role in modern physics. First, it is the only known framework that integrates naturally with supersymmetry and provides a mechanism for its spontaneous breaking, allowing supersymmetry to hold at high energies but break at low scales, consistent with our experimental observations. Second, it reverses the logic of QFT. Rather than quantizing fields on fixed spacetime, it quantizes spacetime itself. This leads to novel effects such as ultraviolet infrared mixing and provides a natural bridge to discrete geometries and Planck scale physics. NCFT offers powerful insights into quantum gravity, string theory, and non-commutative geometry, reshaping the interface between quantum theory and space. In volume one of this book, we focus primarily on the first axis, the gauge principle and the standard model of particle physics. The other three axes are examined in detail in volume two, the second axis, supersymmetric gauge theory, is partially addressed, with groundwork laid in chapters 13 through 15, which cover exact solutions, monopoles and instantons, and supersymmetry. The third axis, centered on ADSCFT, is covered in detail in chapters 16 and 17, where we explore the emergence of Einstein gravity from quantum entanglement and the rise of conformal symmetry in the SYK model relevant to the ADS-2-CFT-1 correspondence. The fourth axis, devoted to non-commutative field theory, appears in chapters 18 and 19, covering emergent geometry and matrix models and the renormalizability of non-commutative 5-4 theory. A central theme throughout is the renormalization group equation, discussed in depth in chapter 11 of this volume and extended in chapter 12 of the second. This formalism serves as the backbone of QFT, governing scale dependence, critical phenomena, and the flow of physical parameters. This book places special emphasis on the role of symmetry, in particular, the group theoretic foundations of quantum theory, their representations, and the conservation laws they entail. Complementing this is a sustained focus on the path integral formalism, which not only streamlines the quantization of fields, but also unifies quantum mechanics with quantum field theory in a powerful conceptual framework. This book also includes, in chapter 10, 
an introduction to lattice quantum field theory and the Monte Carlo method, and in Chapter 20, a discussion of the connection between non-commutative field theory and matrix models, along with the emerging use of neural networks as a promising alternative to traditional Monte Carlo techniques. We also include four appendices on Classical Mechanics and Classical Electrodynamics in Volume 1 and Lie Algebra Representation Theory and Homotopy Theory in Volume 2. In sum, this book offers both a foundational and forward-looking treatment of QFT, tracing its development from the canonical quantization of fields to the frontiers of supersymmetry, holography, and non-commutative geometry. Welcome to the journey through quantum field theory. Overview of Volume 1 Welcome to this overview of Volume 1 of a modern course in quantum field theory. This first volume focuses on a foundational axis of modern QFT, the gauge principle, and the standard model of particle physics. We begin in Chapter 1 with a review of relativistic quantum mechanics, covering Lorentz symmetry, Spinor representations, and the Dirac and Klein-Gordon equations. Chapter 2 provides an initiation into particle physics, outlining the spectrum of leptons, quarks, gauge bosons, and the historical development of the standard model. In Chapter 3, we transition to canonical quantization of free fields, scalar and spinor, and study their propagators and symmetries, including discrete transformations and Noether's theorem. Chapter 4 introduces our first interacting theory, the phi-4 theory. Here, the S-matrix, Feynman diagrams, and Green's functions are presented with clarity, building the scaffolding for perturbation theory. In Chapter 5, we quantize the electromagnetic field, introduce gauge invariance, and extend to Yang-Mills theory, the formalism underlying the standard model's gauge structure. This leads naturally to Chapter 6, a detailed study of quantum electrodynamics. Perturbative techniques, scattering amplitudes, radiative corrections, and renormalization are explored, culminating in precision results such as the electron's anomalous magnetic moment. Chapters 7 and 8 shift the formalism. We now use the path integral to quantize scalar, spinor, and gauge fields. Techniques such as Fedeev-Popov gauge fixing, the beta function, asymptotic freedom, and the axial anomaly are derived within this powerful framework. Chapter 9 constructs the full standard model Lagrangian, including spontaneous symmetry breaking, the Higgs mechanism, and the quark and lepton sectors. We also discuss anomaly cancellation and neutrino mass generation. In Chapter 10, we step into lattice field theory. Fields are discretized, the metropolis algorithm is introduced, and the basics of numerical simulations are outlined, laying groundwork for computational QFT. Finally, Chapter 11 is devoted to the kallen semanzik renormalization group equation. We study critical behavior, compute critical exponents, and explore the continuum limit of field theories near second-order phase transitions. Throughout this volume, special emphasis is placed on symmetry, conservation laws, and the unifying role of the path integral. This volume offers a complete conceptual journey from classical fields and relativistic particles to gauge theory, renormalization, and the architecture of the standard model. Thank you for joining this overview. Volume 2 of A Modern Course in Quantum Field Theory explores the remaining three major pillars of modern quantum field theory, supersymmetry, holography, and non-commutative geometry. We begin with the Wilson and Functional Renormalization Group equations, tools that offer a non-perturbative, exact description of how quantum field theories behave across scales. Next, we study exact solutions in low-dimensional models, then examine topological gauge configurations, monopoles, and instantons. These reveal deep connections between physics and geometry. The volume continues with a careful introduction to supersymmetry, focusing on formal aspects of global supersymmetric field theories. We then turn to the ADSCFT correspondence, where Einstein's equations in spacetime itself emerge from quantum entanglement in boundary conformal field theories. This is followed by a study of the SYK model, which demonstrates how conformal symmetry arises in the strongly coupled infrared limit. The final chapters focus on non-commutative field theory, where space-time is fundamentally quantized, and on its renormalization using modern methods. The book concludes by proposing neural networks, particularly restricted Boltzmann machines, 
as a powerful new alternative to Monte Carlo techniques for non-perturbative quantum field theory. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the foundations and frontiers of quantum field theory. At Quantum, we explore the deep structure of nature, where physics, mathematics, and philosophy converge. Whether you're here to study gauge theory, uncover the geometry behind space-time, or glimpse the future of quantum computation and AI, this is your space. Stay curious, stay rigorous, and until next time, keep thinking quantum.